We're here post fight at BKB 31 with Dan Chapman. Dan, what a fight, what a performance. How are you feeling? Do you know what? It's just nice to be back. You know, I was meant to fight last summer. He had three pullouts, so everybody thought I fucked off to Marbella, which I didn't. I moved there to work, I moved there to live. But I'm, more ready. I'm always ready to fight. I'll fight tomorrow, I'll fight Wednesday, I'll fight Sunday. But again, it's not my fault with the pullouts. I've done three camps, and I said to Jim and Joe, come on, march me up. They did. We had another pullout. Uh, fair play to Tito Martins. Come all the way from Brazil and stepped in, and he didn't pull out. He couldn't turn up the fight. I'm um, gutted, obviously, it was his, first, his debut. But he put on a performance. He's tough. I hit him with some dingers in it. But you know what the most important is? thing is, I'm fighting at my actual weight now. I fought James Canelli, Sean George, all up in the 80s. James Canelli's fighting tonight. This, after, on the way in, he was 78, 79. After the way in, he's back up to the 80s. I've beaten those guys, both top fighters. And now I'm here to prove my, my skills and when I am an actually a 66 kilo fighter. And what a way to return. Talk to me about that game plan. How did that lead to your win today? To be honest with you, there was no game plan tonight. Didn't even have a game plan because when I fight better opposition, there's always a game plan. But this guy, he had a big following. He just signed, uh, I think, a fight pass with UFC in France. There was not a lot of footage of him. So I couldn't really see what I was going to have tonight. So, you know, I, he came in, he tried to cause a storm. But for me, I'm too smart, you know. And as soon as I started landing with that right hand, I didn't even want to box tonight. I knew I just said, let's just get him out of there, let's do the job. They show my power at like the 66 kilos. And the fact is also, I always turn up professional. I came in, I weighed on bang on 66 kilo. Today, Tito, I appreciate that he's come over here and traveled, but he walked in two kilos heavy. You know, I, Jim goes, you know, have a drop of water. No, I'm going to show that I can make the weight to 66 kilo. And again, showing professionalism. And I think that kind of adaptance to your opponent really was showcased as there. You know, you were able to find those little pockets, the space. You know, was that, that I think mean, that's a testament to how good of a boxer you are. Yeah, and these type of fighters, it's not really great for me. They're very unorthodox. They throw shots from all angles. He tried to wrap me up. He hit me behind. Yeah, that's part of the game. I don't cry about that. But I want to fight a real fighter. I want to fight the likes of Tyler Goodridge, Chad Mendes, those type of fights. Ishi Smith. Ishi Smith pulled out three times last year. Three times world champion, IBF world champion, trained by Mayweather, and he pulled out all summer. I trained for my whole summer. You know, but it's just, I'm so happy that I'm back and I get to show people what I do best. So is, is, you, is this the way you want to continue fighting at now? Yeah, I, I don't, like, it's hard, I understand my ability. And I understand how hard it is for Jim and Joe to match me. But I don't want to be fighting the stable guys where I know I've gone past that part, you know, fighting. Spencer's, John, uh, George, Sean George, uh, James Kennelly. James Kennelly had over 70 amateur fight. F fighting for a world title tonight. Brilliant fighter. Even though Sean doesn't like me, Sean's a really tough fighter. He's been there more than t shirt. I've got nothing bad to say about him, even though we don't get on. But for me, I'm ready to fight world class opposition. This doesn't excite me. I'm happy that I'm here to show my skills. I'm happy to be back. But I want fights. I want world class opposition. Do you think your performance tonight will kind of. Um Get the promoters wanting, get, getting those fights that you want. I've stayed loyal to BKB. I've had BKFC chase me for the last six months. And I've said no, and I stay with BKB if it can give me the best fights. So they've got to come up with the goods now. So I know I've got big offers elsewhere. But I've showed my loyalty. Yeah. So still, and only, only the best of the best will do for you then. Yeah, of course. That's all I want, mate. And I've got to go to the gym. I feel like hungry. I want to go to the gym. Feel like this guy can beat me. So that's going to bring the best out of me. What about kind of world titles and the, the belts, you know, any... any uh, one world title, one in a 69. I owe did a 69, it's not no, any of my weight. These guys are coming from 80. I walk around 67 kilos. Do you understand, like, I'm tiny. But people look at me and my ability and they're like, should I fight Barry Jones? Yeah, I'll fight Barry Jones at 66 kilos. I'm not gonna fight him when he's 20 kilos heavier than me. He walks around 80 plus. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's a brilliant fighter. Me and Barry get on really well. We've done loads of rounds with each other. But when it comes to my career now, I need to be fighting guys my way. That's so important to me. So is it safe to say that good fights matter more to you than the titles? Right? I don't care about titles. I just want the best fights. I want the guys who, are, like I said, I want to wake up thinking I've got to be my best at the gym today. Do you understand? And I just, for me, I've done it for 20 years. I'm so grateful for my background to be what I am. I've had amazing sponsors behind me. I've got Fortress Boxing. I have Global. Uh, Aqua, who sponsors me with my water. I got House of Nutrition, Wheels of Watches, 
I've got Irish Seamoss, my gym rival Marbella, Unit 41. I couldn't do it without my team. My coach Kerry, my team has come over to watch me and support me. I'm just really blessed that I've got good people and that's why I know I can go all the way and show I'm the baddest bare metal fighter on the planet. I know I can't be beat. Congratulations Dan once again.